so in this video i'll be taking you through the introduction to organic chemistry and based on popular demand for my last video many students were saying i should make videos on organic chemistry metal on its compounds and many other topics like that so i just decided i'll pick a topic make some content about it then you know move on to the next time so in this video i'm going to be taking you through the following subtopics in organic chemistry the meaning the history carbon in organic chemistry representation of organic compounds homologous series and lastly some take-home questions just for you before we move on if you're new to this channel i would love you to like subscribe and comment on the video also i have a telegram channel where we post engaging and educative content on chemistry if you seek to improve in chemistry to join my telegram channel you can click on the link in my channel description meaning organic chemistry is the study of compounds of carbon except from oxides of carbon carbonates carbides and bicarbonates which are inorganic matter history organic chemistry was previously defined as the study of compounds obtained from only living things such as plants and animals so that meant that anything that was not from plants and animals were not organic compounds Later on, this definition underwent a radical change when a German scientist, Friedrich Wohler, in 1828, synthesized urea, an organic compound, by heating ammonium thiocyanate, an inorganic compound. This discovery shocked a lot of scientists in his days, and I'm sure they were like, so we can actually synthesize the so called organic compounds from inorganic elements and this led to a lot of scientists performing a lot of experiments like Kobe and Bartholot later on synthesized acetic acid and methane respectively in the laboratory from inorganic matter carbon inorganic chemistry one ability to catenate this is the ability of carbon atoms to link up with themselves to form straight chain Brown chain and ring chain compounds, which consist of many atoms. 2. Ability to form multiple bonds. Carbon has the ability to form single, double, or triple covalent bond with one another, which makes organic compounds numerous in the universe. 3. The reactivity of carbon. Carbon has the ability to react with most metals and non-metals to form varieties of compounds. For example, carbon forms compounds with hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, and some metallic elements. Representation of organic compounds. So the first thing you need to understand is that carbon is a tetravalent element, meaning it has four electrons in its outermost shell and it can form four single bonds. Now there are four ways to represent organic compounds. The first one is the molecular formula. Let's take propane for instance. The molecular formula for propane is C3H8, meaning there are three carbons and eight hydrogens. Now the second one is the structural formula. Let's write down the structural formula for propane. So there are three carbons. Let's write them down and place single bonds around them for the hydrogen there are eight hydrogen atoms let's place them one two three four five six seven eight now the next one we'll look at is the condensed structural formula so for the first carbon surrounded with three hydrogen you write ch3 for the second one with two hydrogen, you write CH2. And for the last one with three hydrogen, you write CH3. Now, the next one is the skeletal formula. Now, to draw the skeletal formula of this, we need three corners. And to make those three corners, we need two lines. So, to represent that, let's place carbon at the corners. One, two, three. If we were to use three lines, we'll form four corners, which will be wrong. To represent that, let's place carbon at the corners. One, two, three, four. But this is totally wrong. To represent propane, we need just three corners, and that is two lines. So this is how to represent the skeletal formula of propane. To prove that, let's run them with some hydrogen. So this carbon already has one single bond attached to it, so it needs just three more hydrogens. The 
next carbon has two single bond attached to it so it needs two more hydrogens for the last carbon it needs three more hydrogens attached to it this is how to represent the skeletal formula for propane so these are the four ways to represent organic compounds i hope you learned something new from this video Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, kindly let me know what you need me to make a video on in the comment section and I'll do well to take action on that.